The book can be very useful to government and folks developing public policy because the Learning Disability Association of Canada published statistics showing that the average child with an IEP in place will earn, and this is 2002 numbers, so these numbers are old, um, the average child with an IEP, so some do better, some do worse, but the average child with an, individual, an individualized educational plan in place will earn approximately $1.98 million less over their working career. Um, the educational system will incur $455,000 of increased cost from grade one to the end of high school. So for every child with an IEP in place, it's nearly half a million dollars extra cost for the government per child. It's a $2 million hit to the individual in terms of their earning. Uh, that's assuming that they work from when they finish high school, that they retire at age 65 approximately. And you multiply that by one to two kids in every classroom in Canada. Um, in our clinic, we have a pretty good success rate at getting these kids off of IEPs, getting them back on track. Uh, we actually even have a grant from the government of Canada right now called SHRED. So we actually have funding that helps us to track all the data from our clinics. So the government should be very interested in this because it's your, it, it's the, you know, um, spend a penny to save a pound mentality. I mean, trying to get ahead of the problem rather than saying, well, little Johnny's not learning very well. Here's a computer that can help him to read better. Well, he still can't read. Or let's keep him on a medication for an attentional problem when it could be a vision issue. So trying to get ahead of these issues from a policy standpoint. And one very simple thing that could be put in place is that a child is not permitted to have an IEP unless they have a thorough ocular motor and visual processing assessment. That would be a very simple line in the sand that policymakers and government makers could say is, look, if visual skills is such an important thing, then the IEP, which can help the child and make the life of the educator a lot easier, which is all good, we need to make sure that we know what's going on with the visual system in a, in a, in a, in a thorough way. And I think from a policy standpoint, that's really important to know.